Hello and welcome to another episode where we're trying to rev up Duke of Ed. Uh, but this one's actually quite a tricky one because it's not so much the physical preparation, but it's actually now writing that report. But before you write the report, in fact, before you go on your adventure, you need to have planned what you're going to do. And so a lot of this actually just flows straight from your planning into your report. So let's have a look at it. Uh, over so over here on the screen here now, you should be able to see the adventurous journey, uh, a sheet that I've put together. And, and to start with, uh, I've just taken information straight off the Duke of Ed website, which tells you that this adventurous journey is an amazing experience, which is why you need to keep a journal or log of your escapades. Uh, you know, when I've been on Duke of Ed hikes, uh, I've come back to read what I've written earlier and found it really helpful to remind me, or even pre preparing later logs. Like when I started in bronze, I had my equipment list, copy, paste, done. Really easy. So once you do it right the first time, it actually gets really easy later on. Uh, so here we have, uh, it's a, an expectation though that you'll be doing this uh, report checking and report keeping of your Duke of Ed. Types of records, they've got a whole stack. Written journal, web page, scrapbook, photographic material, audio log, video, PowerPoint, or even video diary. But there's important information that must be included. Your map. And on this map, you must show your route, meal stops, at check or rendezvous points, and campsites. Now, I've got a hint here that might help just a little bit as you come to prepare this. Uh, you might go to the Wild Walks website that has great maps and notes. I, uh, if you actually look at the detailed notes for a lot of the hikes that might, you might do, I think they're too detailed. I would expect you're taking that and putting it in your own format. So, let me show you a format that I think is worth using. Here is my suggested format that you should do before you do any hike you would have your journey plan. Have the day. Uh, what, what's the day? Let's say it's Monday the uh, uh, 4th of June. Uh, who knows when it is? I'm just making up a date at the moment. Start, and you might start at, uh, let's say, Patonga uh, Wharf. Okay? And your first stage might be to um, walk to bottom of Mount and it might be dot, 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 whatever that could be. The distance might be two kilometres, okay? So your time might be, uh, let's allow 40 minutes to do that. Uh, let's assume you're going to walk uh, plus 10 metres. So you're getting this sort of information off the map. Remarks, uh, follow track um, around uh, water to base... Of mountain. A uh, quick drink before walking up. Uh, like I, I'm making this up, this is a vague memory I have of a little walk that I did. If I was looking at a map, I, I'd be making much more detailed notes um, on what this might be. And then I'd go to stage two, and it might be uh, walk up mountain. Okay, or this mountain, whatever it is. From there, uh, it might be, well, this is only one kilometre, but because I'm walking up, uh, let's say, uh, plus 200 metres, okay, that means my time, it, it's going to take a fair bit longer for me to do that. I might even allow one hour for that, okay? Uh, slow walk up mountain, and I might note that it's a steep climb or something like that. Um, important to note these details that you can get off the map in your preparation. So I'm expecting that you would be putting this together and handing this in and, and you'd have this sort of stage going on for each day. You would then include this in your final report that you're putting together. Now let's go back to that final report. So there's your your map, your route, with hopefully your route plan that that was, uh, that was your route plan that you're putting together. Further to this uh, you would have a full equipment list. 
So as you can see here, here is my general equipment list that I would usually use to start up a hike. Uh, I've put this together over time. It's my bronze one that I've got here. What would be important? Well, this is what I think is important. Now, I've broken it up into my general equipment that I would take, my clothes that I would take, and then um, that's not including my food listing. That's elsewhere. Now, on my uh, one of my other posts, I've actually noted um, how I pack a pack a little bit, and I've made comments about, well, what I do in packing my pack, uh, but this is just a little diagram that you may find helpful in packing your pack. Um, I've suggested here no more than a third of your body weight, etc, uh, etc. Et this is a bit out of place uh, in this video. I might even tack it onto the back of the other one as well. But this equipment list that I have at the top here is of course very helpful when it comes to your full equipment list. I'd expect you also have a full food list, the full clothing list, you just saw that over there, and then your description. So, uh, here is your plan. After you've done the hike, I'd expect you come home and go, right, what did I actually do? Uh, what was good, what was bad? For each day, I'd be making at least, I tell you at least, just one page of comments. But let me tell you, this is so easy to do. You would be amazed that once you sit down and start writing, how quickly you can write it, put it all together, and suddenly, whoa, that was easily done. So let me encourage you to, to be putting that sort of information in. Um, one of the things I find really helpful uh, is, is photos, and just incorporating that into your report. This has been another presentation. Revving up Duke of Ed by Jeremy Clark.